And we have some rain showers that are moving into the area. Some uh, uh, light rain trying to show up on the radar, but the actual precipitation is back towards Cleveland. So a little time before this actually gets here as uh, we get into the overnight because the ground is just too dry right now. The air here at the surface, the humidity is way too low to pull off showers. You need relative humidity at 60% or so to pull off rain. We're at 43%, which is a nice big jump compared to what we were just last hour in the 30s, but we have a few more hours before these showers actually make their way into Pittsburgh. In the meantime, we're mild with cloudy skies, 52 degrees here in town. You look up towards Cranberry and you're down to 47, but Beaver Falls, Newcastle still hanging on to the 50s. Then you trail off into the 40s for Butler at 48 degrees, 44 Catanning and 45 in Indiana. Looking to Greensburg, 43 degrees there, Connellsville 47 and 43 in Waynesburg. Now you look at the satellite and radar and you can see pretty quiet uh, conditions earlier giving way to these clouds and giving way to these showers. Those are going to be continuing to sneak in here. Actual rain reports up towards Cleveland, and that's the closest ones we have right now. So all the other precipitation between Pittsburgh and Cleveland is likely not touching the ground just yet, but it will. And as we get up tomorrow morning, we are looking at some pretty widespread rain for the morning hours into the afternoon. Anything we see is going to be more of a spotty shower. Then a cold front tries to drop in here. It's not going to do really anything to cool us off. It's so small that the warm front behind it just takes over and brings in a much warmer setup into Wednesday. That means we're going to make a run for the 70s. It also means that we're going to get a little more moisture uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Then I think a breakthrough, uh, a good chunk of Wednesday. I don't think it's going to be quite the washout, but there will be some showers around. And just know, once we get into the afternoon, the chance for rain and even some thunderstorms is going to really start to ramp up the later it gets. And then we're going to see some steady, if not heavy, rain moving in Wednesday night into Thursday. 43 tonight. Those showers come into play late. The winds should remain light and variable. Then tomorrow you're looking at temperatures at about 60 degrees, steady rain in the morning, spotty rain in the afternoon. So that means the best potential to get outside and enjoy some of the weather is during the afternoon. Temperatures are going to be very similar to what we had today. However, the sunshine is not sticking around. A little bit of a breeze too. Hour by hour tomorrow you can see that the, the most widespread rain is early on than anything for the afternoon is more of a spotty situation and temperatures near 60 degrees to top things off. Now, Wednesday gets even warmer. There are going to be some rain showers around, but I think it's going to be an earlier and later type thing with some dry time in between. Lower 60s for Thursday and temperatures build up to about 70 degrees as we head towards Sunday of next week again. So some ups and downs in the temperature department and then the lower 60s as we get into Monday of next week because late Sunday into Monday, that's when the next cold front comes in, dropping temperatures a little bit. With the showers in the forecast and everybody wanting to get outside, the KDK weather app is a great tool to have on your mobile device. It gives you the hour by hour forecast. There's a future cast built into the radar function, which is also an interactive radar. It's a great app and it's free. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.